Oh my freaking A, man. What a hassle. Just uh, just fighting with this computer. I just uh, getting my USB. There's my um, my generic twenty dollar cheapo um, you know ODB whammy jammy thing. And uh, anyway, so I just hooked this up to the car. And let me see if I can connect. And it connects like uh, like it was in the other video. So. I'm going to come down, this is a Ford F-150, 2007. I'm going to come down and see if I can get a VIN out of it. Of course, it's going to give me a freaking problem. Okay, so, I'm having, what happens is, the Chevy and the Ford, it's good I have two cars, have different protocols. So, I'm not sure what the deal is. So if I do search for protocol and then tell it to go ahead and do that. And then of course something happens, it never comes back. <laughs> and then I will reset the device. And of course this is crap, right? This is no good if this was actual software that you had to buy. Okay, very nice. And there's some kind of protocol going on. Uh, let me see if I can get uh, something out of this. Uh, let me go back to my VIN. Can I get a VIN? Can we get a VIN? Oh, you freaking... You... You... Oh, okay. That long-term fuel train is right. Get the ambient temperature. Okay. Why am I not getting a VIN? Let me try the VIN again. Oh, now I get a VIN. All right, so obviously this software has some mental problems, but I'm successfully communicating to the car. Now, well, check this out. This is pretty cool. And what I did is I added a little, little, um, what do you call that? Look at that, man. What do you call that? A um, graphical something or other? So I'm able to read the uh, the RPM out of there, and if you see, I'm hearing, I'm hearing a click out there. I wonder if that must be my VCT solenoids kicking on and off. Now this um, this grid thing here it just kind of adjusts. I don't know if I'm, I'm zooming in too much because I'm freaking blind and I can't see. It's Everything's blurry to me right now. I'm going to stop. We'll do the same thing. I don't know why. You see, I'm not sure why. Let me see the fuel level. Let's see what the fuel level is. Uh, 78%. That's about what my fuel level looks like. And um, I happen to know for a fact that I, I've got the... My air, mass airflow is a little off. So uh, it's reporting more air than it's supposed to. So my long-term fuel trims on other scanners is always negative. It's usually around 12%, but maybe something's better. I don't know. Long-term fuel trim, short-term fuel trim. I don't have the, those. The only thing I have coming out on, on the graph is um, I can keep hitting go. I don't have it coming out on the graph. That's going to have to be a new feature that I add. So, short terms, of course, they're zero, right? You know, once your once your vehicle's well, pretty much zero. Once your vehicle's pretty happy with uh, you know where it's at, but my long terms are negative nine, and um, well, that'd be nice if they would graph, right? While you hit your gas. I'm getting there. So the left and right bank aren't, and bank one and two aren't exactly the same. Get my coolant temperature. What is that? 194. Oh, that should be on a graph too. I guess most of these should be on a graph. And uh, let's see what else is there. Warm up since DTC is cleared. What is that? 83 warm ups. Okay. Do I have? I'm a little chilly out here. I should probably put on the heat. Let's see miles since DTC cleared. Let's see what this. What, what do we get here? 
twenty. Now I believe that is uh, actual miles because it, it gives you in kilometers, and you have to sort of, um, you know, do some kind of gymnastics to get the right numbers. Let me see what else we get in here. Voltage. If I get the voltage, actually plots. The only two things that plot right now are the voltage, and I don't know if you can see. You know that that voltage is pinned. I have to. It's an auto sizing plot, so I have to get that. But the voltage is 14.3. And um, you know, watch. Notice if I if I shut cut the car off, right? And even though I cut the car off, it still has power. But uh, see, it drops down. That's kind of interesting. And uh, the plot's real simple. The time span I still have to work on, and it'll just reset itself, right? So let me start it, start it up again. So that's interesting. You saw the dip in the voltage. So, I mean, you know, these could be somewhat diagnostically useful. I hope this is clear. I mean, it should be pretty obvious that that graph is working. I guess the coolest thing is the RPM, right? Is the, uh, what else? What else we got here? Report PIDs. I don't know what that's going to do exactly. Oh, this is the supported PIDs. Alright, this is like, uh, you know, I had to click that twice for some reason. This is all the stuff I, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm not watching the camera. I, I selected, uh, report PIDs, and, uh, you know, this is what, this is all that, this is all that the truck gave me. I have to go look at this, you know, obviously there's a lot of, uh, a lot more work to do with this. What's the fuel system status? I don't even know what that'll do. Eh, apparently nothing. Engine load calculated 23%. Mm -hmm. I have to keep clicking go. That you know, the only thing I have on here, like I said, is the engine RPM, which is pretty cool. I mean, when I got that work, and it was like really cool, like, whoa, dude, look what I did, man. My girlfriend's like, yeah, very good. She's a developer, but she wasn't even impressed with that. But I actually was pretty impressed. It's pretty granular, too. So, so yeah, so this thing is definitely communicating. Um, right, you know, I mean, I'm on COM3 over here instead of the Wi-Fi. Um, whatever, that was what the driver for the USB configured itself to be. The, the drivers for the USB and the Bluetooth are going to be, they're going to come in the form of COM ports. So whatever, who knows why it's COM3 and not 1 or 4 or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's definitely cool. Um, and I know this worked on my uh, Chevy too, so I have to test it on my girlfriend's Lexus. She has two, she has freaking two Lexuses. What, kind of, what the hell is that, right? You say, uh, there's somewhere to get the codes, right? Do I have a, get the fault codes. Let's see what this says. I don't, I don't have a light on 4300. I think that means, um, I think that means there's no fault codes. Yeah, let's see, did I miss anything? Freeze frame cause fault rate. It's, uh, I don't know. That's if there was a fault, it would be. Um, okay, I obviously have work to do here. <laughs> Interesting. It didn't do anything. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, so so there it is, man. Let's get my VIN again. Get my VIN. Yeah, gets the VIN all right. But yeah, when when you stop this and um, I don't know what the hell. Like if I if I disconnect for a little while. Now the other thing is if I turn the key off, right? And uh, and come in and try to. All right, so I'm just connecting. I still have power and everything, but um, I'm sorry, you're not seeing what I'm doing. I have power and everything, but when I try to get like information about the car, that's when it's not going to work, right? It's going to tell me something. You know, unable to connect, and that's because I have the key off, right? So, um, 
and you know most software will tell you put the key on it won't tell you weird things like unable to connect it'll just tell you that your key is not out um, so let me go here all right before I'm done here let me go to let me get that voltage because I like to see that when I start so it'll get the voltage because the voltage is a reading see you see it's a 12.4 there's a value here there's if you rewind the video if you didn't notice the value is always posted there when it's when it's coming through I guess just for the RPMs let me see uh, so we should see the voltage sort of spike down and then up to like 14 or something, right? So let's do that. Yeah, interesting. So you can tell if your car is charging, I guess. And then, of course, now I get this weird thing. I don't know. Let's see. Will it give me... Uh, will it give me... Okay. Negative 1%. That's B2. That's not 82, right? It's B1, B2. Get the so I should be able to get the VIN right. Once I can get it, one thing I should be able to get other stuff. Now, for some reason, it's getting me miles. Okay, so now I'm just running over the same old, uh, same old ground here. Coolant temperature should be a little hot. It was yeah, it was 194 before. Ambient temperature is whatever it is outside. And 41 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about right. It's March in the Northeast. All right, so there it is. There's my uh, freaking software trying to work. The next version, I'll, I'll update the. This is version. Actually, this is now. I need to advance this forward. So I'll make that available, and uh, you know. But what hap what'll happen is uh, you'll you'll find that it, it may not work right away. So what you want to do is you want to do the search protocol and reset. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe I can get that running. Uh, I obviously I have to fix that, but um, okay. So it's 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 approaching a normal scanning piece of software now. And uh, all right, very good. Thank you.